Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. It will hold a little hand sanitizer. Uh, it will also hold uh, this hand sanitizer. It'll hold a, a tape measure, soft lips, a seam ripper. So just some little stuff. Okay. Here's the supplies you're gonna need. This is the Pansy Petals Designer Series Paper, six by six. We've got some basic white. And then we've got a basic white circle and a fresh freesia scallop circle. Okay, so I've cut these out using the layering circles dies. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our stamping first. I've got my images here. So we're going to take the turtle and we're going to use our memento ink. Now we're going to stamp the greeting with fresh freesia. And I really like to use my stampin' mat for my photopolymer images, so let me get that. Okay. Now we're going to take our marker. This is the light, fresh freesia, freesia, and I knew I was gonna mess that up. And so I'm gonna color in um, his shell or her shell with the light. And then we're gonna take the image and we're going to stamp it inside. It almost gives it a faint uh, watermark look. Now the shell, I gotta bring this a little bit closer. Now we're done with this one. Now I'm gonna take the crumb cake blends. I'm gonna start with the dark and just add a little bit. Okay, maybe I grabbed the wrong marker. No, it's just dark. <laughs> Ignore me. Okay, now the light. It just seems so much darker today than normal. It could be because it's a new, um, a new marker. I had a few that I finally had to replace. They really do last a pretty long time. Now we're going to take the turtle punch and cut it out. I forgot to mention the For You is in a Wish for Everything stamp set. Otherwise, the turtle came from the <laughs> turtle stamp set, the turtle bundle. Okay. Now we're going to take the uh, some scissors and we're just going to trim this. I need, don't need that much. Okay. It's not perfect and it's okay. Yeah. It'll be fine. So now we're going to take this circle and add it to the scallop circle. So I'm just gonna put some liquid glue on the back. <laughs> the birds are chirping. We only get a couple more weeks of them. They are moving out, so it'll be very quiet. Besides, well, not very quiet, because you know the airplane still will be going by. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put two there. And then we're gonna add this. Yeah, 
right about there. Now we're going to set our images aside and then we'll make the, the box or the bag or whatever you want to call it. So here's our six by six piece. Uh, this project was designed so that the people that are taking my uh, bingo class, the turtle punch class, uh, or the turtle class, I should say, um, that they have leftover paper to use and they're getting six by six sheets. So this is a perfect project that you can make and you can use any stamp set. You don't have to use the turtle. Okay, so six by six, we're gonna score it at one inch on all four sides. And then you're gonna score it at two and a half and three and a half, and that's only on one side, okay? We're going to fold this on the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. Now, my sample shows the flowers on the outside and the gingham uh, just on the top edge. This time I'm gonna reverse it. So we're gonna have the gingham on the outside and the flowers just on that little edge, just like that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and fold it down like that. This is how it's gonna work, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this top part down using my liquid glue. That just makes it easier so that I don't get confused about the orientation of everything. Okay, that's how it's gonna work. Now you could have snipped off this little part right here if you don't want it to be too bulky, but I'm okay with it being that way. I don't think it's too bulky, but if you were using specialty paper, which sometimes is even thicker than our desi designer series paper, you might want to, to do that, okay? I'm just gonna trim the tabs just slightly. There we go. Now we're gonna add our adhesive to this part right here. I am gonna use my tear and tape for this. Did I put it on the right side? <laughs> we'll see. Yes, I did. Um, and I'm actually gonna use two pieces because I am probably gonna use this project later. It's a nice size. It, I don't know if I said, it will also hold one of our Tombow liquid glues. So I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and remove the backing. And then I'm just gonna fold it over, okay? Just like that. Now that makes the back of my box because that's where the seam is. This is gonna be the front. So I'm gonna add a little bit of tear and tape there. And same thing, just gonna use my take your pick tool to remove the backing. Okay, this part right here, fold that and then hold it and then fold that over. You might have to trim just a smidge right there on the edge. Okay, so here's our little box. Now we're gonna take two pieces of the seam binding. Um, they are approx approximately 14 inches. That just gives me enough to get the bow and not mess it up. <laughs> it is wasting just a smidge of it. Okay, so. I like to connect them, just like that. These, it has like a, a static to them, to it, I should say. Okay, 
And then now pull, tighten the bows up. See, I'm wasting probably a little more than I should, but sometimes if you if you have if your ribbon's too short, it's really hard to work with it. Okay, that's going to go up top there, and I'm just going to add it with a glue dot. You could wrap it around the top of the box if you want to, but I actually like it like this. So I'm just going to place it right in the middle, and then we're going to take this image here, and we're going to add it with dimensionals. So I'm just going to put one right in the middle. Now, let's add our greeting first. I'm going to put a mini glue dot on the end and just kind of slide it under the ribbon and then I'm going to move the ribbon around so that the greeting can be seen. See? A little bit. So we're going to add this and then we have one more step. We have to add our little embellishments. Those are the are these are the in color jewels. And let's see, where did I put them? One there. One over here. And one down here. Okay, so which do you prefer? Do you like the flowers on the top or do you like the gingham on the top? I like them both. They're pretty cute, right? Okay, don't forget there's a free inspiration sheet over on my website along with the box diagram for you or the box template. Have a great day.